Okay, we're here after an Armstrong Atlantic win with assistant coach Mark Gaines and Jared Holmes, junior guard. Uh, fellas, uh, let's talk a little bit about this game. Mark, this was a big one for you. I know this was a team you were concerned about. They've hung with some pretty big teams in the league. What does it say for the for the squad to get a W today? You know what? I um, got to give credit to Jared and the rest of the team. They, you know, they fought hard. Um, Armstrong, I told the guys, the only two losses in the league were to Augusta State, top five team in the country. Um, the Peach Belt is as balanced and as tough as any, you know, as any year I can remember. And I've been in the league eight years, and the coach has been here for 18 years. So uh, it was a great win. The guys did a heck of a job. Okay, a, a big game for you uh, again today, Jared. We got uh, a good number of points from you, four boards and four assists, a little bit of everything. Uh, you're probably about as big as your earrings there tonight. <laughs> well, uh, how did you feel about your, your, your performance yourself tonight? I think uh, coming into this game, I had to be more aggressive. So. Uh, not just attack, uh, try to give as many rebounds as I could and just have my team get a victory. The defensive end seems to be big for you, too. I know you take a little bit of pride in, in playing some good D. Did that help create some opportunities for the team on the offensive end tonight, you think? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 of course. Uh, just as a team, like, collectively, I think uh, from the past two games against Clayton State and Georgia Southwestern, I mean, we come into this game with more energy and more intensity. So I think that was good for us overall. Mark, the, the, the game plan tonight, what was it, and did you achieve those goals? I thought so. Uh, you know, the, the number one thing was control tempo. And, uh, you know, even though we were down two points at halftime, the guy hit a three that a queen of tip right before the buzzer, 28-26. Um, so and they're averaging 85, 86 points a game in the league. You know, number one scoring team in the Peach Belt, I think. And uh, I thought the guys did a real good job of controlling the tempo inside out. Uh, Jerry was selective. I mean, seven for ten from the field, four for five from the three. I mean, from the free throw line. Uh, four boards, four assists. That's a heck of a night. Um, and it wasn't just him, it was the whole team, but the guys did a good job of the game plan. The game plan was executed, and we just got to continue that as we move forward. A little bit different starting lineup tonight. Is, is that something that might we see again uh, as we move forward, or was that just a particular matchup it, it, today? You know, it, it might just have been a one-game thing. Um, you know, I feel like we have, you know, 14 good players, and there's a combination, uh, a lot of different combinations that we could use. It just happened to be the combination that we used uh, tonight. And I was proud of Mike, eight points. He's got to rebound the ball better. Um, but he made two threes, and they were huge. Um, but I, I think, uh, you know, Reese Aquino, I, I see them probably getting back into the starting lineup. Who knows? Um, but whether or not you start, whether or not you come off the bench, if you play one second, you better be prepared because, you know, you've got you to play hard in order to, uh, you know, get, get a win in the Peach Belt. Okay. Bobcats with a big win over Armstrong Atlantic tonight. Thanks, guys. Good job.